the Washington men's basketball team came into its game against No. 2 Kansas a 22-point underdog, and ESPN's Basketball Power Index only gave the UW a 3% chance of victory. But Wednesday night in Kansas City, with the odds stacked against them, the Huskies, 7-2, shocked the college basketball world, dominating both ends of the floor to pick up a 74-65 victory, the first signature win in the tenure of head coach Mike Hopkins. Washington made nine three-pointers and shot 48% from the field, and the 2-3 zone Hopkins has been relentlessly instituting paid dividends under the bright lights, holding Kansas to only five threes while forcing 13 turnovers. Compare that to the previous game for the Jayhawks, 7-1, in which they tore Syracuse's zone apart for 11 threes. Junior guard Matisse Tybal led the Dogs with 19 points, freshman guard Jalen Moe added 17, and junior forward Noah Dickerson put up yet another double-double in his fantastic start to the year with 13 points and 14 rebounds. Doc Kansas' top scorer in its past two games was freshman guard Devonta Graham, who scored 35 points in contests against Toledo and Syracuse. But Washington was prepared for him, as he scored a measly three points on one for eight shooting, and made him a non factor. After going down early in the game, the Huskies went on a 9-2 run to take a 16-14 lead with 11.43 to go in the first half, the start of a toe-to-toe -to -toe affair in the opening period. Dick Orson amassed 6 points and 7 rebounds in the opening 10 minutes of action, solidifying his presence down low in the first half. He also assisted on a three from tie ball that gave the UW a 16-14 lead, one of two threes he hit in the first 10 minutes. Dickerson almost finished the half with a double-double, totaling 8 points and 10 rebounds. With 8.27 to go in the half, Junior guard David Crisp whipped a no-look pass to sophomore forward Sam Timmons off the pick and roll, and Timmons finished strong at the rim with a two-hand jam. Crisp finished with a team-leading seven assists. Much like its previous game against Syracuse, Kansas tried to break down Washington's familiar zone by getting the ball to La Gerald Vick at the free throw line. From there, he could put up his own shot, pass out to a three-point shooter, or throw a lob to a big man. Vic frequently chose the first option, and the Huskies were willing to give it to him all game in order to stop options two and three. He had 10 first-half points to lead his team, but on 4 of 11 shot attempts. The Jayhawks also had success against the Orange by throwing lobs behind the zone for easy alley-oop dunks, but the Dogs were prepared for that as well, frequently deflecting those passes before they found their targets at the rim. With 5.21 left in the half, Tybull got a steal and passed to Nolop ahead, who finished an athletic way up with the left hand to give the UW a 28-25 lead. Noel followed this up a few possessions later when he drove into the lane, jump stopped, and finished a tough shot in heavy traffic.
he made the free throw, giving him 10 first half points to top the team. Despite Noel's turnover with 5 seconds remaining in the half, Washington took a 36 34 lead into the locker room, much to the shock of the ESPN broadcasters and the large contingent of Kansas fans in attendance at the Sprint Center. The Jayhawks finished only 2 for 9 from 3 point territory in the first half. Two minutes into the second half, Tybal threw a beautiful lob to Timmons to make the 44 38 Washington. A minute later, Tybal sliced right through the heart of the Kansas defense and threw it down with two hands, part of a 14 8 UW run coming out of the break. The UW defense was relentless all game, and on one Jayhawks inbounds pass, they were forced to pass the ball to the opposite baseline to get the ball in. It became apparent as the game went on that the Huskies were going to give Vic his looks in the lane in exchange for defending against easy dunks and three-point shots. He got to his career high in scoring at 24 points with 11.56 to go in the game and ended with 28 points, but they were 28 points the dogs were willing to let him have. After Noel made a jumper that extended the UW's lead to 8, Kansas went on a run. Vic made a couple of buckets, and Yudoka Atsubak added a dunk and a layup to cut the lead to one at 53-52. Despite the Kansas run, Washington surged once again and grew its lead back out. With seven minutes to go, Tybull intercepted a pass from Vic and quickly took the ball the other way for a dunk to make the lead 10. Every time the Jayhawks would try to creep back into the game, the Huskies would deny their advances. With 4.19 remaining in the game, freshman Ford Hammer Wright hit a three to extend the lead to 13, and with 2.45 to go, he swatted away a second chance attempt at the rim, leading to a crisp triple at the other end with two seconds to go on the shot clock to make the lead 14 points. The Huskies played keep away for the last couple of minutes, limiting the Jayhawks' time of possession, and in the process, earned their best win of the season. Washington hosts Gonzaga, yet another top 25 opponent, on Sunday. The game starts at 5 p. M. on Pac-12 Networks.